Under the pressure of competition, airlines always have to find ways to maintain their attractiveness. Upgrading cabins helps them attract and retain customers. Providing a better flying experience is the key to customer choice. Lufthansa is no exception. Recently, the German airline has plans on its A350 to increasingly improve its cabin system. So, what's the plan? How will it change the aviation industry? Let's find out in today's episode. But before we start, if you're new, please help us improve this channel even further by double-checking that you've hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our updates. Now, let's dive in. Currently, this airline is using two brand new A350-900 version aircraft for flights to Canada. They are called Leipzig and Krefeld and will fly direct from Munich to Toronto and Vancouver. Naming its aircraft after German cities such as Leipzig and Krefeld not only means to honor and connect these cities with Lufthansa's global flight network, but also shows the company's pride and brand recognition. It has been two months since receiving them and the airline has operated 160 flights and served about 38,000 passengers. Lufthansa CEO Jens Ritter shared that their passengers are very enthusiastic. Across all classes, they liked the innovative cabin interiors and new amenities. Lufthansa business class passengers are particularly delighted with more than 90% satisfied with Allegris. They like the comfort of the seats with features like wireless charging, welcome drinks, and special menu cards for suites. The airline's crew really enjoyed working in the environment, appreciating the ease of seating management and the excellent galley. However, there are still imperfections. Flynet service still needs to be improved, according to Ritter. This is an internet service provided on the airline's aircraft to help passengers stay in touch with friends, family, and colleagues. Furthermore, with Flynet, you can send emails with attachments and surf the web quickly and securely. Lufthansa is working to expand this service on more flights within Europe, as well as to and from North Africa and the Middle East. It is known that during the first weeks, Flynet was not always stable on both of the airline's A350 aircraft in operation. However, Lufthansa has promised to fix it. They released a fix for Flynet as soon as possible, although they also anticipated that it would take some time for passengers to quickly get used to the new product like before. That's why the company also offers fly-alongs, who are product experts who can help if you have any questions. During the first weeks, these people were also on the ship, but after that, they were no longer needed because they could answer each other through communication equipment. They can essentially be thought of as a rapid response team that accompanies every crew to briefings and picks them up on their return in case things don't go as planned. Because there can be unpredictable things. But of course, no one wants this team. The company wants to eliminate them as quickly as possible. Previously, Lufthansa announced plans to invest more than 2.7 billion USD to upgrade the experience across all aircraft cabins. Two extra wide leather seats, when lowered, create a double bed for sleeping. There's a dining table, a 43 inch 4K screen, walls that go almost to the ceiling, controls for heating or cooling the seats, and lockers for coats and bags. The doors close like curtains and are made from noise reducing materials. On the A350, the middle section of the first class cabin will have this first class suite plus. In addition, first class suite seats also have the above features placed on both sides. That's not the only change on the new plane. In its biggest redesign to date, the airline is upgrading each service category under the Allegris name on its North Atlantic flights. The cabin will be available on the new Boeing 787 Dreamliners currently on order, expected to be delivered as early as 2025. The new premium cabin will be business class with a variety of configurations to meet passengers' individual needs, not just focusing on luxury features. Passengers have seven seating options. All have temperature controls and are appropriately designed to help passengers sit comfortably and still keep their backs straight for better sleep. First class seats also have this feature. Wireless charging, the ability to operate new extreme entertainment systems from personal devices and pre-ordered dining services are also highlighted in this new plan. Airlines often focus on upgrading the passenger experience in the front cabin of the plane. Lufthansa is different. This company also improves seats for premium economy class passengers along with the economy class. The special economy class seats will be covered with a hard shell so when passengers lie down to sleep it will not affect the seats directly behind. The distance between seats increases to 99 centimeters. 
Double armrests will help passengers no longer have to keep their hands on the seat. The screen with 4K resolution increases to 15.6 inches and will have wireless charging. The distance between economy class seats will also increase, especially in the first rows, which can be 86 centimeters apart and are designed for passengers to sit and sleep comfortably. Additionally, passengers can choose to ask staff to lock the middle seat. There is also the possibility of creating a sleeper by adding a mattress over the three seats. This bed may not be a first class suite plus, but it's a marked improvement for an overnight flight. Recently in June, Lufthansa launched a direct flight from Frankfurt to Minneapolis using the 787 Dreamliner-9 aircraft. The airline's plan is to operate five flights per week between these two cities. Sharing on the official X page, the airline wrote, Our first flight between Frankfurt and Minneapolis-St. Paul, flight number LH-482, took off from Frankfurt today. Starting today, flights between Frankfurt and Minneapolis will operate five times a week. Dirk Janssen, the airline's vice president of airfare sales for the Americas region, said the launch of the route serves as a key building block for Lufthansa's summer expansion plans in the United States. This is the most important market outside the group's domestic market, and he also expressed his joy at adding more opportunities and capacity into and out of the United States. In addition, this airline also operates a fleet of eight Airbus A380 aircraft to North America and India this summer. Last year, Lufthansa revealed plans to fly all Super Jumbo jets from Munich Airport. To date, only one flight a day is used, alternating between six of the eight aircraft carrying more than 500 passengers per day. In addition, the EU has conditionally approved a share purchase agreement between German airline Lufthansa and Italian airline ITA Airways. This was called the Great European Success. In 2023, Lufthansa, one of Europe's largest airlines, agreed to pay 325 million euros to buy a 41% stake in ITA, in which the Italian Ministry of Finance also contributed 250 million euros as part of the capital increase. The deal will strengthen the German airline's presence in Italy and provide more options for travel to Africa, South America, and the Middle East. However, this deal had to go through a difficult process to be approved by regulators. After the European Commission opened an extensive investigation in January 20th, 24 over concerns, it could cause harm to competition. The EC has now given the green light after Lufthansa and the Italian government offered a package of commitments to allay those concerns. In a statement, Lufthansa CEO Karsten Spohr also said the investment in ITA Airways will strengthen Lufthansa's position in global competition. The airline will have many options to increase its stake in ITA Airways or completely buy back this airline in the future. The EC said proposed concessions to help reach an agreement include making it possible for one or two rival airlines to open direct flights between Rome and Milan with Central Europe. The EC said these commitments fully address the competition concerns mentioned by the Commission. Lufthansa's ambitious upgrades to its A350 cabins and expansion of routes are set to redefine the flying experience and solidify its market presence. The airline's investment in state-of-the-art amenities, such as the First Class Suite Plus and Enhanced Economy Class seats, underscores its commitment to passenger comfort and satisfaction. The recent introduction of direct flights from Frankfurt to Minneapolis and the deployment of Airbus A380 to North America and India exemplify Lufthansa's strategic growth. These advancements, alongside efforts to improve in-flight connectivity with Flynet, demonstrate Lufthansa's proactive approach to staying competitive and innovative in the dynamic aviation industry. As these changes unfold, passengers can look forward to an elevated travel experience across all classes.